Good morning and welcome to VMT News Morning Edition. My name is Alan Garza. And I'm Kendra Valenzuela. Over the past week at a small town in the rural South Carolina, the excited mayor of Simpsonville, Janice Curtis, says she found out from a reporter that the winning ticket in the 1.537 billion mega million drawing had been sold in her town. Kind town have been sold in her town. Simpsonville is a kind of town where farm fields are giving away to housing developers. The city grew from 18,000 to 22,000 people as the Greenville suburbs encroached over the past seven years. Lottery officials have given no details about the person who bought the winning ticket, whether they live in a Simpsonville or were just passing by the KC Mart number no. seven and decided to stop. Outside the White House on Monday to protect transgender rights in response to reports that the Trump administration was considering a pro proposal that would narrow the definition of gender and roll back civil rights protections for the LGBT community. Over a hundred people waved pride flags and held signs while protesters chanted the rally was organized in response to in response to to an unreleased memo obtained by the New York Times and reportedly detailed an effort by the Department of Health and Human Services to define sex un under Title IX a federal law that banned gender discrimination in education programs receiving governmental government funds. The proposal definition would outline genders as either male or female, unchangeable and based on, per, on person's genitalia at birth, and an emotional event for many transgender people and community members who have seen several attempts by the Trump administration to limit transgender rights. We'll be back right after this. Anxiety. Just get up. What are you doing? Breathe. It's so simple. Why do you make it so hard? People are looking at you. Anxiety is such a big problem, but too small to see. Recently, a five-year-old boy drowned in the pool in, in Scottsdale, Texas, a few miles outside of San Antonio. The boy was found at the bottom of the pool who was taken out after someone, someone at home spotted him. Unfortunately, the boy had been in the water for quite some time, so he was so he was later pronounced dead. Investigators with the sheriff's office are doing an investigation to, of the death. The medical examiner's office will be having an uh, auto, auto speed done on him to determine the, the official cause of the death. This is an um, this is a image of, of Carson uh, and was gone from ksat.com. Carson, as a very sweet boy who enjoyed watching Paw Patrol and being close to the people he loved, and he will be greatly missed. Austin stores have been said to run out of bottled water due to the residents buying an exceeding amount. The current flooding that is going on in the Austin area has caused running tap water to be claimed non-drinkable. All, all citizens have been warned about it and have been ordered to bottle their tap water to boil their tap water before drinking any of it. Because of all the runoff and mud and debris caused by the flooding, it has brought upon has brought upon possible bacteria and viruses that could be found in the water drinking system. Shops like Starbucks, for example, are not allowed to use any type of tap water till the ban has been lifted. There is no indication of bacterial, inf bacterial infection. However, residents will stay in, in contact. The Texas Commission of Alcohol and Drug Abuse is proud to sponsor the Red Ribbon Campaign in the state of Texas. The National Federation of Parents sponsored the national campaign. This year, Red Ribbon Week is set for October 22nd through October 28th. We will be back after this. Shut up! When you gonna take your shut up, shut up, shut up. I said shut up. Just the way I am. Are you okay? You seem out of it. Yeah, I'm fine.
Good morning, my name is Brianna Garza and welcome back to the weather. Let's jump right into it. For our national forecast in New York, it will be mostly sunny with a high near 49 degrees. In Seattle, there will be rain, a high near 58 degrees. And in Los Angeles, it will be sunny with a high 90, I mean 83 degrees. Now, Texas is seeing some rainy days and maybe even chilly. In Houston, there is a 20% chance of showers and gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 68 degrees. In El Paso, it will be mostly sunny with a high near 75 degrees. And in Dallas, it will be mostly cloudy with a high near 64 degrees. Now for our local three-day forecast, it looks like today will be mostly sunny with a high near 74 degrees. And, 60 and on sat Friday, it will be 78 degrees and Saturday with 82 degrees. And that is all for our weather for today. Um, this being the Generation Award, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you chase. Into London. It's been amazing. Oh I was okay. Thank you for joining us. Let's start talking about entertainment news. The original Netflix series on my block is about teenagers going their way into high school. In the gritty inner city of South central Los Angeles, in the danger of their friends who is involved in the gang, <laughs> which includes a story of young love. A teenage drama through after seeing success into season one, it has been quickly pushed up to an upcoming season two. Ryan Murphy has revealed his young son battled cancer and announced a major donation to the hospital. He feels that saved his son's life. In an Instagram post, the prophetic television producer who is behind show like Glee and the American Horror Story franchise said his four-year-old son, Ford Theodore Miller Murphy, was diagnosed with neuroblastoma two years ago after his doctor found an abdominal tumor the size of a tennis ball during a routine checkup. Murphy credits the doctor and staff at Child Children's Hospital Los Angeles for his son's health and announced a $10 million donation to the Institute. An upcoming 2008 film with air in will air in November 2nd is a foot stomping celebration of Queen. Their music is extraordinary. Seeing lead singer Freddie Mercury. The film traces the me meteoric rise of the band based through their iconic songs and revolutionary sound. And to finish our segment today, the new song hit the new hit song, My My by Troy Sivan, has been numbered one for more than a week now. Many people have been waiting for this song to come out ever since the writer slash artist of the song, Sivian, have been posting hints about it earlier this year. Sivian teased the song on social media by posting a blank video without the, with the word, my, flickering on the screen. He also have posted a photo of a Spotify brand billboard in the Times Square, which features a black and white photo of his face and the, photo, and the words six days revealing the song's release date. After the song came out, everyone began to hear it over and over again. Nobody can get enough of this song. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as other people do. And it's all... And that's all the news we have for this week. My name is Estela Melendez. Um, this being the Generation Award, I'm going I'm to cut to the chase. Been to London. It's been amazing. I was working on... Two of our own Vidal and Trevino RTV students made it into a New York Film Festival. Here's Ajetza Pareles with more information. October the 4th, 2018, all the way until October the 8th, 
two lucky high school radio television students, Victoria Eller Castillo and Teresa Gutierrez, were granted the opportunity to visit New York City to attend the All-American High School Film Festival. This high school film festival highlights different categories of media pieces along with receiving submissions from all around the world. The students were also able to listen in on great tips for future professions in several panel sessions. This was the first year a group from Laredo has been represented at this festival. The Vidal and Tamino School of Fine Arts and Communication will be hosting their annual Hispanic Festival. Come and join while they play instruments, music, performances, and there, and there will also be food provided. While they play brassy and enjoyable music and have an eye-catching performance, where well, you'll, si you'll be sitting and enjoying the performance, so be sure to look uh, at around and check out what food and games are available. We hope to see you Tuesday, October, October 30th from 2 to 8 p.m. A member of a 15-man suspect in the death of Jamal Kas Kaskogi dressed up in his clothes and was captured on surveillance cameras around Instable on the same day that the journalist was killed. As surveillance footage is obtained, part of the Turkish government investigation, which shows a man leaving the leaving the leaving the castle by the back door, wearing Kaskogi clothes and a fake beard and glasses. And the same man in Kaskogi clothes, according to the Turkish case at the city, world famous blue mosquito was hour just by the journalist was last seen alive entering the consulate on October 2nd. Stay tuned for more news. Overachievers, you probably know one or two, and you know how well regarded they are by their peers. My mom would always used to tell me something that her dad would tell her, which was, um, you always want a better life for your kids than the one that you had. And so my mom would always tell me, you've got to work harder. You've got to work harder. And she would quote the Selena movie quite a lot that since we're Mexican-American, we have to be more American than the Americans and more Mexican than the Mexicans. And so we just need to work harder. And so I guess growing up, I was always taught to work hard. Seven years back, I was in Mississippi. Uh, when I was little, my mom was in the National Guard, and she raised me. Um, she was a single mother, and uh, we didn't live in the best neighborhood. And um, she told me, even though um, it was the neighborhood was poor, and we didn't have a lot, um, and sometimes she went without. She told me that in this world, I could be anything I wanted to be, as long as I had an education. Unluckily, there is a small downside. Sometimes I get so nervous because I'm just like, you know, I can't mess up. I really can't. Um, and so it's just, it's nerve wracking, honestly. While wanting to be the best isn't a bad thing, spreading yourself too thin might cause you to miss out on events that are otherwise important. So just keep that in mind. Pep rallies, a lot of pep rallies because I'm in class instead of going to pep rallies or prom because I'm usually do like I get invited to prom, but I usually have something on the night of prom, so I miss out a lot on that. But this year, I'm gonna go to prom. But yeah, I don't go to the mall or to the movies. I rarely, rarely go out, and if I do go out, it's because of a school activity or a school function. Can I serve the next guest? Hello, welcome to Chick Fil A. Our mission is to provide you with the most remarkable experience. Another part of our mission at Chick-fil-A is to provide you with the most craveable food. We do this by using only premium products such as Tyson chicken and Sunkissed lemons to freshly squeeze our lemonade daily. My name is Claudia Baltazar, owner-operator at Chick-fil-A at Mall del Norte, and it is our pleasure serving you. The Vidal M. Trevino School of Communications and Fine Arts will be hosting their annual Hispanic Festival. Come join us to celebrate 26 years of Hispanic heritage with fun-filled activities and spectacular performances, including the instrumental and dance numbers. What and other activities will be part of the event? The Hispanic Festival will take place on Tuesday, October the 30th from 2 to 8 p.m. at 2102 East Lion Street. Hope to see you there!
Thank you for being with us. Have a great day and see you next Thursday.